Uh, have you got two life jackets on board? Yes, sir. That's just a small sample of the many stops Tennessee wildlife officers are making on the water this weekend. They say they want to prevent accidents as much as possible on what is typically a very busy weekend. Reporter Fernando Garcia Francisini joined them on the water and shares what they're looking out for. Officer Jeff Robertson is one of many wildlife officers patrolling the waters this Labor Day weekend. Majority of our holiday weekends is kind of a all hands on deck. Uh, they schedule anybody and everybody to be on the lake uh, patrolling. And on a weekend where there's already been a drowning and a serious boat accident in East Tennessee, Robertson says they'll be extra vigilant. Do you have the registration card on board? Yeah, it's in, it's in there, I believe. He says they'll be looking for the essentials. So check your equipment before you head out. Make sure your fire extinguisher is there and charged. Your throwable is there in good shape. But especially the life jackets. Uh, have you got two life jackets on board? Yes, sir. Uh, you're not required by law to wear it if you're over the age of 12. But it just makes good sense. It's kind of like a seat belt. Uh, you don't have time to put it on in the middle of an accident. Your life jacket, you're not going to have time either. You need to have it on before that accident occurs. This holiday weekend, we're seeing more scattered rainstorms. And Officer Robertson says with more rain comes more debris. So he says people should take extra precautions. A requirement that may uh, come into play is having your navigation lights on. Anytime you would have your car light, headlights on while driving down the road, you should also have your navigation lights on your boat. So. Uh, Periods of restrictive visibility, such as rain or fog. In Knoxville, I'm Fernando Garcia Francescini. One last reminder, too anyone born after January 1st, 1989, is required to be licensed to drive a boat.